you have to that's what you have to think about like trump larry fink uh the kind of the major players here who's behind them which side of things here larry fink i don't know which side he's on i really don't because it 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 doesn't make sense that uh he would embrace Bitcoin, a tool. I mean, I get it because they're going to make a shitload of money off of Bitcoin over the next decade. But either they're not thinking long term enough or they don't really understand Bitcoin. That's my thoughts on it. Politicians as well. Bitcoin's going to make them extinct because what, it, what has the government done for the last 50 years, 100 years? They make the laws. They take your taxes. They decide what to do with that tax money and pay a lot of that money to themselves. Let's say that 5% actually goes to their initiatives that they want. The other 95% goes to just paying idiots to work. That's what the government is in its current state. And so, you know, as that changes, as government shrinks, we're going to move into a, a world where we don't need them anymore. If we have the ability now with technology, with these systems that we have already that exist, where, you know, you receive income, maybe, uh, 2% goes to what, you know, whatever. And maybe it is completely removing government. And every time you travel on a road, you pay 50 sats. Every time somebody picks up your garbage, they charge you 50 sats. Your wallet's hooked up to it. You don't need people there anymore. You don't. Like, think about all the, the amount of people who are working government now, like making a lot of money every single year on the backs of people who are actually working. It's such a fucking backward system. So think about all those people who are just there existing so government can keep the system going. But we don't need them anymore. And it's going to take a long time to get rid of them slowly. But between AI, between Bitcoin, between these systems that are being created to eliminate these people, that's what they don't understand is that uh, short term, yes, it'll win some votes short term. It'll make you some money, but long term, it's going to make you extinct. So I don't, I don't know if people are, you know, aware of that or if they're understanding of that and okay with that. I don't know, but that's what's going to happen here. We don't, we don't need the middleman anymore. And it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's the same to me as like thinking in terms of dollars. <clears throat> Like if, if you're somebody who's in a position now where you're actually thinking in terms of Bitcoin instead of fiat, which slowly I think all of us are moving towards that, where you're actually measuring things in Bitcoin instead of fiat, the, the next step is there to understand that we don't need that old system anymore. The majority of things that exist in the old system are completely irrelevant in this new financial system that we're going into. And that's, that's tough, I think, for a lot of people to really wrap their head around is that the majority of jobs in government, for sure, but also like some of these jobs that are going to be replaced, uh, they're never coming back. So it's, it's so crazy to try to wrap your head around this whole thing and, and where we are in this cycle right now. But uh, it's fucking awesome. And I don't care what side... Trump, I mean, I shouldn't say that, but all, all of these things are, are good for Bitcoin. And as I talked about in the first part of the show here today, you don't need to understand the blockchain. You don't understand how new Bitcoins are made. You don't need to understand how you can send it anywhere without paying any fees and what kind of impact this is going to have on small businesses. You don't need to understand any of that. All you have to do is look at one system that's completely unfixable at this point. And you look at a system with a fixed supply that's not controlled by anybody that has the ability to facilitate this high tech world that we're moving into. It's the currency of the internet and the internet, in case you haven't noticed, it's a pretty big part of our lives now. So anyways, the price is going up. It's exciting, but just the whole macro around Bitcoin right now is so fucking exciting. And as RJ said, to start the show, let me, let me, let's end with that. I want to make sure I get it right. But let's let's end with RJ's quote because it's the absolute truth. And it's exactly how I feel. So this is from RJ on Noster. Somehow I simultaneously feel that I couldn't be more bullish, yet I'm not bullish enough. So we're in a good spot. 
there's a lot of people who are at zero Bitcoin, zero hours into Bitcoin. And if you think about how long it's taken you to learn Bitcoin and understand it and get to where you are, everybody's playing catch up behind us. So we're at such a huge advantage here. If we navigate this, if we make the right decisions here, we're we're going to be sitting pretty in Sunshine City. <laughs>